Let's draw the graph for y equals 4x minus 4. And we're going to do it two ways. First, we'll use a table of values. Then we'll check our work with slope-intercept formula. So let's put some values in for x here. How about 0? If we said 4 times 0, that's just 0. 0 minus 4 is negative 4. We could put really any value in for x. That would give us a value for y. At that, that point, it would be on our line. But we need it to fit on our graph paper if we want to graph this. So how about 1? 4 times 1, that's 4. 4 minus 4, that gives us 0 for y. Why don't we just put 2? 4 times 2, that's 8. 8 minus 4, and that just gives us 4. So these are the points that we'll graph for the linear equation y equals 4x minus 4. So we have x is 0, y is negative 4. 0, negative 4. Then we have x is 1, y is 0. And then we have x is 2, y is 4. x is 2, y is 4. And they all line up. We could have just used two points. It's nice to have a third point to make sure you've done this correctly. Let's put a line through this. And we'll put arrows to show that it goes to infinity. And this is the graph for y equals 4x minus 4. Let's check our work with slope-intercept formula. So if y equals mx plus b, b, that's the y-intercept. That's that negative 4. So we can put a point on the y-axis at y is negative 4. Right there, that's where we cross the y-axis. Next for the slope, that's m. m is 4. But it's helpful to think about this as 4 over 1. It still equals 4, but now we can say rise over run. So what we'll do is we go to the y-intercept, we rise 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we go over 1. That's right on our line. Do it again. From that point, 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1. And you can see these points are on our line. One more time. 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1. That would be on our line, too. So we've done this first part correctly. This is the graph for y equals 4x minus 4. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.